One of the most brilliant things about the Nintendo Switch is how it has brought together people when they come together. If you go out on a campsite or if you go to an event, go to a convention perhaps, how you can go ahead, bring your Switch with you and play with friends that you meet along the way. Hey everybody, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. I just want to take a second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out our new review that we have here today. I hope you do appreciate it. If you like what you see, check out some of the other videos and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button too. That way you're kept the most informed and up to date when we do upload new content. So we have a new all-in-one dock solution here for the Nintendo Switch. This is called the Omni Centro. And what's nice about it is you don't have a huge dock to carry around with you. It's all self-contained right in one unit. So if you are taking it with you to a convention on vacation, if you are traveling, it is one of those things you can take with you and go ahead and connect using fewer cables and not have a huge dock to take with you. Now, there are many concerns I know about items such as this. And we're gonna address them here in a few minutes when we get to the photo bench. The biggest concern, as always, will this brick your switch? And the fact that this does have, uh, it is PD 3.0 uh, protocols basically in here means that it should not damage your switch. Now, we are going to check and see if there are any other warranties or guarantees or anything like that with this. Now, before we hit the photo bench, what I want to know from you down in the comments today, have you taken your switch with you and played it with other friends when you've met, met up? Like, for example, use your words that I've got behind me. Such an amazing party game. If you like Cards Against Humanity and uh, things along those lines, you will absolutely love this. And the great thing, you only need one copy of the game and everybody else plays either on their smartphone, tablet, or computer. Stupid fun game. Thanks to John Riggs for streaming this almost three years ago on his channel and I fell in love with it. If you like the Jackbox games, you guys will love Use Your Words. And I am hoping we are going to love the Omni Centro here. Let's go ahead, hit the photo bench. So taking a look at the box, uh, it does have the Gallium Nitride Technology 4K HDMI video transfer capable. So you can use this with more than just the Switch. Say that you have a Samsung phone or tablet and you want to enable DEX mode, this should enable 4K output. USB 3.0 data transfer, 45 watt fast charging output. Uh, you can see on the front USB-C, USB-A, and an HDMI output. Nothing really on the sides. On the back, the choice of more than 5 million users worldwide. A leading brand of power and connectivity, 18 month worry free warranty. I don't know if that means on this or if it means from if it damages your switch. We will look into that. Oh wow. So let's see what we have here. We have a USB-C to USB-C cable. We have a standard, like an hourglass shaped uh, power cord. And then we have the outlet itself, or we have the power brick. So, okay, so here's what you can do. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I think MacBooks do this too. I'm not a Mac guy. Um, but it looks like you will be able to slide that down there, and then you can use this extension cable for power if you would like. Otherwise, the prongs just pop out. That's actually a pretty neat design. Now on the back here, it's USB-C, USB-A, HDMI output. It is a standard HDMI output, not uh, mini or micro, so that is important to note. Um, now this is something that is not available at this time, but on April the 12th, 2021, it is hitting Kickstarter. Now, while it doesn't have any documentation that comes with it, uh, I will be reaching out to the company to get verification on this. And I'm gonna ask them to actually comment to, on this video. This will be hitting Kickstarter on April the 14th. And um, I mean, it's an overall really nice and small unit. Uh, I've tested other units similar to this. Uh, I think this is pretty much the smallest. And let's kind of get some idea of measurement here. We've got our handy dandy rusty trusty caliper. And we're gonna just see it is 44 and a half millimeters tall, 56 and a half millimeters deep, and 28 and a half millimeters thick. So very, very small unit. And you can see right here, it does claim 45 
watt output. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect up our switch to this and we're gonna see how it performs. Let's play some games. So I've got my switch wired up to go. Now one thing that I did find out rather quickly here is that this does not like to go through an HDMI switcher. I had to go straight into my capture card. Um, but we are now connected and we can go ahead and get some gameplay going. So we are going to go ahead and let us test out. Well, we'll, we'll go into some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And the main thing I'm looking here for is like color and image quality, lag, latency, that sort of thing. It's quite odd that it did have those issues there with going through my HDMI switcher, uh, even though I was utilizing a um, basically another splitter to go through and re remove any HDCP issues that we might have. Oh, Mario tried to throw the green shell at me and he missed. Now we are also testing out a new to us controller. This is the AL Lion Pro Controller, and uh, we'll be doing a full-blown video on this. Linda, AKA the Gamer Girl, just popped online too. She's playing some Animal Crossing. Make sure you give her a follow if you're not following her already. She does awesome live streams every Saturday, and make sure that you tell her that uh, I said CRTs are terrible, because CRTs are terrible. Yeah, I'm not noticing any any issues whatsoever with the picture quality. Oh, I missed that. Missed that banana. Or actually, I hit that banana peel. If I would have avoided it, it would have been a miss. Got away from that red shell. Was able to use the horn or whatever that, that thing is. It's the only real defense. Got another one. Only real defense against the blue shell. Had another red shell coming my way, had to deploy that. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking this is looking just fine. Now, if it's something that I'm traveling, I'm not gonna be utilizing a capture card. So, and there's the blue shell, you son of a dirty, rotten guy, you. Um, so the fact that it does have that issue with capture or with the uh, HDMI splitters, I'm, I'm not happy about it, but it's not as breaking of an experience to me as it would be if I'm trying to use it as my everyday home uh, uh, HDMI connection to my TV or my dock. Um, let's go into, let's do some Pac-Man 99. Now I've only played this twice so far as of this filming. What I've played I've liked, I've thought it's been fun, um, but I just haven't played a whole lot of it yet. Uh, the other thing actually we're gonna do too real quick is I'm gonna switch to my Pro Controller. Now I think the highest I've finished in a Pac-Man 99 has been like 53rd. Um, I made a stupid mistake in the, the one match I was doing halfway decent. I think, like I say, I think I've only played two matches. Oh, that's right, I forgot I changed the controls to work with the analog stick on this. All right, so get a couple combos there. So far, so good. Again, really bright, vibrant game. I'm, I'm liking what I've played on this a lot so far. Um, it's definitely different. Uh, and I screwed that up. Ah! Yeah, I need more practice. Yeah, 68th there. We'll try one more here real quick. Uh, but again, I think it looks pretty good going through uh, the the dock and everything here. And we're gonna go against stronger players there, I guess. The music in this is just, it's awesome. I, like I said, I think Namco did a great job. All right, let's see if we can get through a chain here. Nice, got through a nice chain there. Not a whole lot of them right there in that chain, but at least we can get through the, the pellets and everything. Whoa, that was closer than I wanted it to be. Take that. Whoa, that one almost bit me hard. Now, it's interesting that they decided to do... Oh! Damn! I got slowed down there again. I was 67th. Um, weird how I got slowed down, but I did rank up. Now, again, one of the games I always test with stuff like this, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition, it's one of those that most definitively helps show lag, latency, delay, button press misses, things like that, making sure that the timing and everything is good, too. T-Hawk, Guile, oh, I hate playing against Guile. 
Oh, nice, nice reversal. Got him again. I was not able to pull off the dragon uppercut. I only tried once there. One of those, I was just trying to beat Guile. So let's see if we can get it in this next one. Okay, so dragon uppercut I can pull off. So latency, delay, so on and so forth. Pretty good, and unless I'm wrong, perfect. Very cool there. Now, one last thing is I wanna to go to a game that it just, I think it looks really pretty in the art style and everything. And for that, where is it here? Where are we going to? I'm going to Cuphead. I just love the art style of this and uh, like I said, I think it's just one of those games that looks, it looks beautiful and this is actually looks really good going through the dock here too. Let's go to a level we can, we'll do simple on this because I suck at Cuphead. As you saw, I'm only 16% in. I got to remember, it's been so long since I've played this, I got to remember what the moves are. We'll retry that one real quick. Like I say, I was just trying to remember what, what the button presses were. I mean, I think the uh, the graphic style on this, I mean, looks terrific. It looks exactly like it should. Oh, and I died again. Um, again, no leg issue. That's me sucking more than anything else. Um, Initial thoughts on this. So again, I, I think it's kind of weird that it has issues with going through an HDMI switcher box. Um, this is one of those things where it is still going to Kickstarter at this point. So I'm hoping it's something with my feedback that I provide them uh, that they can fix that. Um, just a real quick suggestion. Um, above and beyond that, just the, the overall size. Unfortunately, the cords are too short. I was gonna try to pick it up and show you here. Um, with where I'm at, the cords are just too short to facilitate that. Um, I think it looks great. I don't think that it has any issues as far as you know lag, latency, delay, anything along those lines. It's small, it's portable, it just works. Now the one thing I would like to see the company do is provide some sort of anti-bricking sort of warranty where if this damages your system, they'll take care of you. Other manufacturers have done that. Again, this is just hitting Kickstarter, so I'm hoping that that is something that they can add to the product before it starts shipping. But let's go ahead and wrap things up. Impressive, very impressive. The Omni Centro, it just works and that's what you need something like this to do. Now, it doesn't work flawlessly. Like I mentioned, I could not go through my HDMI switcher box with this and have it work. I had to go straight into my capture card, which was really quite bizarre. But I will tell you, I actually filmed three reviews using this. This review, the review of our AO Lion uh, Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch, and a video showing how to use the old school digital gamepad designed for the GameCube on the Nintendo Switch. I use this for the dock for all three of these videos, and I did not encounter any issues with my Switch whatsoever. So it is going to be hitting Kickstarter in the middle of April 2021. Keep an eye on there. We will have a link down below in a pinned comment where you can go ahead and pick one of these up if you are interested. I don't know price point yet, and that is going to be very important. There are other very similar devices out there like this that do the same thing and have come out with things like an anti-bricking guarantee where if this would brick your switch, they'll take care of it for you. That's TBD on this guy here. We don't have all that information as of yet. I will tell you right now, if you are concerned at all about bricking your Nintendo Switch, 
I, I don't care who makes it, I would just bypass these altogether. It's one of those that could it damage your switch? Anything could damage your switch, but if you're that concerned about it, stick with the OEM stuff. Now, this does, unlike other third-party docks, it's all self-contained in one unit here. You know, where with other third-party docks, you can still go back and use the OEM Nintendo AC power supply. This is its own power supply, so that is something to be wary of. Now, like I say, I did not encounter any issues. I will also say I tested out, didn't record it, but I did test it out with both my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and my Samsung uh, Tab S7 to use as a Samsung DeX dock to connect to my TV work flawlessly, exactly as I would expect it to. So this is a very versatile little device. I think pricing, like I say again, is going to be very important. Under $50, just because they don't have the name recognition as of yet in the community where there are other companies out there that have been involved in the community more. They can charge a little bit of a higher price because A, they're better known. B, they've already come out and stated that they have that anti-bricking sort of guarantee and whatnot, and they were here first. So this doesn't do anything different than many of the other docks in that same family and whatnot, but it's just another option out there for you to consider. Again, I'll have the link down below to the uh, Kickstarter if you do want to go ahead and check it out. Now, if you do have any other comments or questions, as always, feel free to email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can send me a message on Twitter at Rocksolid Studios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. Finally, we're also mirroring all of our content over on Rumble at rumble.com slash rocksolidproductions. Now, uh, if you did have any other comments or questions, as always, feel free to check them out down below. If you are looking for other tips and tricks, tutorials, how-tos, third-party controllers, third-party docks for the Nintendo Switch, those videos are coming up right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rock Solid Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel. And you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.